everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Ariana May and I am into plus size fashion. So for today's video, I will be doing toward items. These were on a clearance sale, so they're not new, unfortunately. But I do have a new toward haul coming that has lots of winter coats and jackets. So definitely be on the lookout for that. I do a lot of toward hauls here. They are definitely my most popular videos and it is my favorite brand so i guess it's just a win-win situation i did pick up quite a few items i think like 12 or something around that and i did get them on sale but i will still be giving you the original prices i am a size 18 or 1 if you don't know already and yeah i'm just super excited to get into this video and try these items for you guys today if you have any questions comments or video suggestions please go ahead and leave them down below and as always, links to everything will be linked in the description box, as well as my measurements, so you can check those out as well. Without further ado, let's just get into this video. So the first item I had to share with you guys today, I saw numerous times on the website and I was like, I don't really need it, like it's okay. But I did get it for a pretty stellar price, so I decided to pick it up this time. It is called the Contrast Sleeve Emblem Raglan Tee. I got it for in a size one and it was originally $35.50. When I saw the picture on the website, I thought that the sleeves would be a little bit more flared, but they're definitely fitted to my arms. What I do like about this piece is that it is very simplistic, so you can pretty much wear it with anything, I think, and that the only real detail on this shirt is the sleeves. So they did a really good well with the stitching on this. I think the stitching is super cute. I also think that the mesh isn't cheap, so it won't rip easily. The top itself is kind of see-through, but that is because it is a white top, so that is to be expected. Just wear a cami or a nude bra underneath and you will be fine. I do like raglan tees because they kind of remind me of the baseball style tee, and I love baseball. So I do like this top. I won't be keeping it just because I have nowhere to really wear it to. It's not really my style, but I know that if you guys are looking for a good basic, this is a really good piece. And because these items are on clearance, I can't return them. So if I don't like them, I will be putting them on my Poshmark if you wanna go ahead and shop them. You might wanna send me an offer, let me know you're from YouTube and I will give you a stellar discount. So the next top is called the Harper Summer Dream Floral Three Quarter Sleeve Top. I got it in a size one and it was originally $45.50. I love floral, floral is the name of the game and I love pink. I do like the floral on this. It is a little bit more mature for my liking, but that doesn't mean I wouldn't wear it. Harper tops are cute. My first ever top from Tord was actually a Harper top. And I remember that specifically because I was a freshman in high school and I was very insecure. And my friend who was a size like four, okay, I'm over here a size 16. She's a size four. She came into Tord with me and she picked out the top. And that's how I remember my first top because she was very supportive of me. So I just, it always brings up good memories when I get Harper's. I don't particularly like Harper's anymore. They're too long for my liking. But if I tuck this into a pair of jeans, I would wear it because I know I'm really into crop stuff and I'm tucked in stuff. I don't think I'll be keeping this top just because I'm not really into full length tops. But it is super cute and I do recommend it comes with extra buttons so that if you lose some, you're fine. It is a button front, as you can tell. I really like when Tori does buttons like these. I really like those kind of buttons. And the buttons are functional so you can undo them as you please. And the top is three quarter sleeves with the button detailing here as well. So overall, definitely recommend this top if you are into Harper's. It is like any other normal Harper top, but it's still, it's cute, okay? It's cute. The next item I got to share with you guys today is actually a dress. I have been loving Torrid's midi dress recently. They have been hitting all the marks. So this dress is called the Navy Star Chalice Skater Dress. Uh, it's size one and it was originally $75.50. $75.50 is a lot to pay for a dress. But I mean, usually they have like 35% off sales going on. And if they don't, they will, okay? Like they always have a good sale going on. This is what the dress looks like. I actually really enjoy this dress. It has a cap sleeve. So it's not really a sleeve at all. It's more sleeveless, if anything. And then it does have this little cutout V-neck detail. So it is a V-neck, but it has the keyhole cutout with the tie. You can undo the tie. So if you'd rather just have it open, you totally can. 
The top is smocked, which means that when you stretch it, the top of it will stretch with you, which is fantastic. It also has smocked here at the waist, so it will fit any waist size. In addition to that, it does have this drawstring, so you can adjust the width of the waist. This is a midi length dress. Again, I have really, really, really been into midi length dresses. I just think that they're, I don't know, they just look really good on my body. I really appreciate them. It does have this really cute star print, so I definitely think they came out with this dress near the 4th of July. It is clearance, so the timeline does add up. Would I have worn this for the 4th of July? Probably not. Would I wear this now? Definitely. So stinking cute. I'm in love with it. And, you know, as always, it has pockets. Torrid is really good about putting pockets in their dresses. The next item I got is actually another dress, so it is called the... Uh, red white striped tiered midi dress I got this in a size 1 and it was originally $89.50 so this dress is more expensive than the previous dress and I think I like the previous dress better this is what the dress looks like it is just kind of that dress that Torrid has been doing all summer they did a lot of dresses like this the whole midi length with the spaghetti straps and the v-neck in both the back and the front and then also has adjustable straps i don't know why i said it like that it has adjustable straps what i like about this dress in particularly is that it has a lining and because it is white that is so important that it has a lining so your hot pink panties are not showing through i don't know if you have hot pink panties i just wanted to say that <laughs> I also like that this has, you know, pockets. Tori is really good about having pockets in their dresses, and it has a tie. So you can go ahead and make a tie on the dress to kind of give yourself more of a silhouette. I do recommend this dress, actually. I got a dress like this in the summertime, and I really loved it, but I didn't wear it a lot because... I didn't want to layer it and I feel like this is the kind of dress that you have to layer especially if you're going to wear it in two different seasons it definitely needs to be layered because it is a spaghetti strap. You guys tort hauls make me so happy I just feel like I have the most fun when I do them and they're pretty straightforward for me because I shop so much on Torrid. I know exactly what I'm talking about. The next one is another dress but it kind of feels more of a special occasion. I don't think it is a special occasion dress but it definitely has that kind of outline to it. So it's called the black, there's acronyms, so I can't read this, but it's, I think it's called the black tie front midi dress. It's size one and it was originally $69.50. So this is definitely a dress that you could wear to a special occasion just because of the texture and the look of it. It is very, 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 very stretchy. It is also sleeveless and it has a surplus front which if you don't know what that is, it's kind of like a wrap front, but it's not a wrap. It's not like a, there's no tie, you know? Um, it's like a crossover wrap front. It's really good if you have a big chest. It makes your boobies look great. I don't, so it is what it is. It is a midi length, so it does hit me mid-calf. What I didn't particularly like about this dress, I was so excited for it too, it was that it was really, really form-fitting, and it didn't look that form-fitting on the model. It is a size 1, and I wear a size 18 in bottoms, and a size 18 is a size 2. But if I were to get a size 2 in a dress, it would be big, too big on my bust, because I have different sizes. My top is a size 1, my bottoms are a size 2, so when I get dresses, they are a size 1. This dress is really pretty and it does have a tie waist, but you cannot take the ties off. So if you don't like a tie waist, you're kind of stuck with it. It is attached to it. I don't think this dress has pockets. I am looking all over for pockets. Um, it doesn't look like it does. So that's interesting. Tord usually hits it out of the ballpark with pockets, but this particular dress does not have one, which I guess makes sense because it is so stretchy. It definitely is a polyester or a spandex. I do recommend this dress, but be weary of how form-fitting it is. You'll have to wear shapewear, or you can flaunt your stomach. Like, honestly, you do what makes you comfortable, but for me, I would wear shapewear or I would get a size bigger, but then I'm like, a size bigger probably wouldn't look good on my top half, so it is what it is. It's fine. The next item is a skirt, and I have gotten a few skirts from Tori before, but I've never gotten a skirt like this before, so it is called the Black Stripe Twill Skater Skirt. It was originally 
$49.50 and I got in a size one. So when I buy skirts from Tor, they're usually a midi skirt. I've never actually gone outside the realm of midi skirts. So when I bought this, it was a mini skirt. And the only reason why I bought this is because in a recent Sarah Ray Vargas video, she said that mini skirts are too long on her and I'm two inches taller than her. So they'd be about a really good length for me if I wanted to go right above my knee. So I went ahead and I picked one up and I absolutely love mini skirts. I'm so scared of mini skirts because I feel like whenever I bend down, my whole butt will be out, but the length on this is perfect. So it's not, it is this beautiful black gray, black and gray striped skirt. It is that skater. So it's kind of like an A-line. It flares out a little bit. It does have a nice stretchy waist. It's not smocked. It actually has elastic in the sides here, which make it stretchy. The skirt itself is not stretchy at all, but it is a skater, so it does flare out. It also has a zipper right here, so you can get in and out of this easily. There are no pockets on this skirt, but I do recommend it because it is super cute, and I will be getting a lot of skirts like this soon, especially for fall. You just wear like a basic black t-shirt, like a, even a band tee with some tights and some black booties. Oh, that is a great combination for fall. I really hope it doesn't snow soon because once it starts snowing, I am not going to be wearing skirts. I don't care if I have leggings or anything. It's not going to happen. It's too cold for me. The next item I got is actually kind of like my normal skirt that I get from Torrid. It is a midi length. So it is a black chalice tie waist midi skirt. I got it in a size one. It was originally $55.50. Ah, uh, the title says chalice, but for some reason, I didn't think it was chalice. And there's nothing wrong with chalice. It's just that it does wrinkle easily. And I don't know, I do get tired of having the same skirt over and over and over again. And the title says chalice, so why did I not see that it was chalice? I have no idea. It's not a bad skirt. It's definitely cute. It's a midi length skirt. No like button detailing, which is really nice because I do have a black midi skirt with buttons and I am getting tired of wearing buttons all the time. So this is just a tie waist skirt. It is black and it has a nice stretchy waist so it will fit to multiple sizes. It does also have this tie front detail. So overall it is a really cute skirt and it does have pockets. So I mean, if you're looking for a midi length black skirt, Torrid is definitely the way to go. They do skirts so well, I love them. The next item I got is a pair of jeans and they're kind of a weird pair of jeans, but I'm kind of into them. So they are sky high skinnies. I've really been loving sky high skinnies recently because of the big thick waistband they have. This is called the super soft sky high olive button fly jeans size 18 and they're originally $75.50. $75.50 is a pretty steep price to pay for jeans but when they're good jeans, it's fine, you know? So like I was saying earlier, I love sky high skinnies and bombshell skinnies because they have this black waistband. So the waistband itself, it's very stretchy and it's very thick and I like these specific styles because whenever I buy jeans, I usually have a gap, but when I get sky higher bombshells, I never have that gap in the back. So this pair of jeans is also this olive color, so it's really good for the fall season. I don't own colored jeans. I don't like colored jeans, but I had to give it a go because I'm really into olive and army greens. I do like this pair of jeans. I think they did it really well. They are a bit tight on me, which is interesting because I've actually lost like 10 pounds. So I don't know how they're tighter than my other pair of jeans. Maybe just because they're not like worn in or something. I have no idea. They are a really nice quality. Tor does do their jeans well. I do recommend them. The only thing I'm like kind of uncertain about is this the black mat they have on the button fly. I love button flies, but I'm not too sure about the black mat. I'm not super into that. I think I would have been fine. You know what, I don't know what's wrong with it. I think silver would have looked weird too, too, but I feel like the mat, I maybe don't like the mat. I think maybe they're a little bit more like shiny. It would have been good. I'm not really sure how to explain it. Cute pair of jeans, definitely recommend. They're not distressed, they don't have a raw hem. They're completely great for work wear if that is something you're looking forward to. And it's all green, so it's great for the fall time. All right, so I actually got three pairs of shoes. I have really been into shoes recently. So I'm just gonna show you them real fast. I'm not gonna try them on. They all fit me, they all are my size. I have a size nine for reference and that's Tord shoes. The only shoes I own that aren't Tord are a size nine and a half and I got them from Ross. So a nine is my shoe size in Tord. The first item I had to share with you is called the 
black v-cut pointed dorsey heel i got this actually in two colors so i'll show you both of them this is what the black one looks like i really just wanted a plain black heel i love the design here i love the v-cut i think that's super cute i love a good pointed toe and the heel is a chunky heel so it's easy to walk in i also like that it is not very high because your girl can't walk in high heels I also like this ankle strap and I like how it has a little belt here. Sometimes when I get torrid shoes, that's actually too wide on my ankles and I can't adjust it, but I can adjust this one so it's perfectly fine. It also has a zip back zipper for easy access. I got the same shoe in this color. I really wanted kind of a rose dusty color because I have been wanting to get some more lighter colored shoes. I haven't really been a shoe person until this year. I've always just kind of worn like black flats or like black tennis shoes, just really basic pieces. I didn't own heels until this year and now I own a whole bunch of them. I honest, honestly have never been a shoe person until this year and now that I am a shoe person, I don't see a point in my life where I would never not be a shoe person. I do love this shoe. It's exactly the same as a black one. It has the suede material, which I didn't mention before, but I'll mention it now. I'm really into the suede. Again, I just really love how comfortable Torrid's heels are. The inside of this is really soft and it's squishy, but not like super squishy. So it has that support that you need in a shoe, but it also isn't very uncomfortable. Really into suede, really into this little delicate little heel and I'm really happy with it. The last shoe and last item I had to share with you guys today is very similar to the one I just showed but it's not a heel so it's called the blush pointed toe backstrap mule. It is the exact same oh no it's not I lied okay so it is not the exact same color this one is a little bit more pink and a little bit darker this is a more tan more nude to my skin tone so um a little bit of a lighter I wouldn't say it's super tan, but it's kind of tan. Definitely a more my nude color, okay? It is a basic flat. There is absolutely no heel to it. It does have the same V as the previous shoe, and it is that suede material. Again, I'm just really into suede. It is such a good thing. I thought that this back strap was really cute here. It is stretchy, so if you have thick ankles you'll be just fine and it's have that really nice soft squishy insole I didn't particularly like the strap I found it very annoying I kept coming undone I don't know I just wasn't into it but I think maybe if I wear it more often I'll get a little bit more used to it so that is the official end of this video if you like this video please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and if you like me and my personality definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below as well as turn on post notifications I do a lot of plus size fashion a lot of plus size styling a lot of plus size try on hauls here on my channel I upload two times a week Tuesdays and Saturdays so definitely be on the lookout for future videos. I do a lot of Torrid videos, but I've also done like Shein, Rue 21, American Eagle. I do like to branch out. If you have any video suggestions, comments, or questions, definitely go ahead and leave them down in the comment bar below. I read all of my comments, so if you ask a question, I will answer. And also, if you have an Instagram, please like send me your Instagram. I would love to give you some love, that whole follow and liking your posts like let's hang out let's be friends let's do all the good things thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed watching it as much as i love trying on these items for you and i will hopefully see you in the next video bye